Hey, how's it going? I'm Kenton Duty. I play Prince Charming. Hey, what's up? My name is Davi Santos, and I play Sir Dandini. And we have been hanging out with Rob on Front, Front Row, Row Live. Live. How's the rehearsals been for Cinderella's Christmas for you? Lots of coffee. Good. <laughs> yeah, second that one. I mean, no, but it's been a good time. It's been, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Now, aside from this play, is this the first time that you guys have worked together? Yes. Yes, the yeah. two of us. To my we have mutual friends. A lot of mutual friends. Um, but the first time we've we actually met and worked together and mm -hmm. great chemistry off the bat. Yeah, kind yeah. of baffling. I feel yeah. like I, I know this guy. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Now, how, have, how has the production been, or the rehearsals been for this play? Like, what have been some of the hardships, being that you guys started not that long ago and you guys are performing next week? We have, I mean, we have long days, just because we've got to make sure we have everything ready for day one. Well, it's an ensemble show, yeah. so a lot of the times, you know, we have our scenes and stuff, and then at other points we have to allow other people to go, and it stops and starts, and so we don't really know sometimes when we have to jump in, but we still have to be on and engaged, you know? So even if we're not on, we still have to be on. And you know, for ten hours, that yeah, can kind of be. But at the same you're time, you're in the zone for for the entire day. Yeah, yeah. I bet. So you you go home, you go home, and you rest. <laughs> exactly. Now, is this the first time that you guys have actually done something like this, where there is a live audience? No, no. I I think we both we both have done theater yes. as well. So it's it's just basically jumping back into the old boots. Yes, exactly. And it's good to jump into these boots. And it's a good zone to be tired about, you know, and it's right. uh, when it's an actual fun show and when you work with people that you like, right. it goes by quickly. Now with the Lithgow family, why did you guys want to work with, with them? They, I mean, their team is obviously amazing, but what, what really got your attention? Uh, well, they're legends. Uh, <laughs> and they, I mean, their, their entire perspective is a team environment. So everybody is giving ideas, everybody's pitching ideas, everybody's working them out together. Um, I mean, we have, I kind of been calling them the Knights of the Round Table meetings every day at the end of the, because Bonnie gets us all together in, in the library over there and puts us in a big circle and talks through her notes and we talk through our, yeah. what we feel is kind of going on on stage and we all work through and help pitch ideas to each other and I'm like, hey, what if you try this, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah. it's been very, very, very helpful. Yes. Um, and then the track record is only the bow in the beginning. And then we actually like work together and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's quite collaborative right. and that's really key in theater I suppose right and in order to actually feel like I have something to give and it'll be received and it'll, you can test things out right. And right. discover now as far as the the you know musical numbers go um, you guys are obviously singing with it but how do you guys feel like about the songs that you guys are, are performing on this show I feel like obviously the songs weren't written for this play but I feel like the songs were actually written for this play uh, I mean when I when I got the role, Chris and I had a conversation because we were going over like what music was able to be licensed and what music uh, people I kind of I already cover, as well as that. And so we t we were we had about you know a half hour phone conversation just pitching different songs to each other to yeah. see which fit, uh, where and stuff like that. And I think I think that like like I said the collaboration like we've been saying has been since day one before day one. Um, so. Yeah, I think I think that's why the songs fit so well. Yeah. Is I mean, it's a lot of it has been like, well, what songs do we want? How are they going to be perceived? Uh, what's the meaning behind that song for right. this moment? And so everything has been meticulously planned out. Um, and then once they actually get put into the show, right. like in our piece, like there's so much little ad libbing, and then we move in, we introduce the choreography, and right. unites the song. So and it, just, and it, and it wasn't even originally a duet, and there's hardly any duet to that right. song at all yeah, online. Ever. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was and the first it time is. it was arranged that way. So did you guys have to? Were you guys part of the arrangement process, or was it given it to you guys, and then you guys worked on and it afterwards? So yes, as well as not just with Chris and Bonnie, and then the two of us, but then there's also Michael and Keith, mm. who you know have been doing yeah, writing all the music director. themselves, and so. We've been able to go. Hey, we want to try this kind of a harmony. Oh, great! You know, and, I mean, because you came up with a harmony, and yeah. we pitched it to Keith and, and like, Michael, yeah, and they're like, "We love it! Yeah. Do it every time!" And and then, oh, we're, because you did that, we want to change this. And yeah. so, it, like, it's it, everybody is just a part of this. It's like a hive mind. Yes, that's and yeah. it's alive and it's breathing and it's still shaping. You know, right. even in rehearsal process. Right. And we're still coming up with new stuff every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still discovering. I mean, it's only been a week. Right. You know, <laughs> it's unsane, like <laughs> unbelievable though. <laughs> A week left, you guys start next week. Um, again, this was a tease that you guys showed us today, but why should the audience go and check you guys out next week, January, or December 8th through January 8th? Um, well, I think, I think we've been saying it's interactive. It's something that everybody can enjoy, whether you're a great-grandma or you're, I mean, three. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think everybody's three, gonna have something teens, that 20s. they can enjoy with this. Yeah. Every, there's, there's jokes that will go over kids' heads, but land on the parents and go into their hearts. You right. said that earlier. Yeah. I had to say it. That's a good, dude, that that's a good line. It'll go over the kids' heads, but land in the parents' hearts, is what yeah. Davi said earlier, and I was like, wow. I like that. I'm gonna make sure that's said again. Mm -hmm. um, and then, 
I mean, it's just, it's not, they're, and there's songs everybody knows. Yeah. So you get to sing along, it's very interactive, and I, I think it's, it's a great introduction to this medium of performance. Right. Mm -hmm. and, it's a, and it's like the sincerity of the spirit itself, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not just like, oh, cookie cutter, kids theater, by far, absolutely no, not. You know, absolutely. we're all getting something from this. And when you have these performers right. as well, mm -hmm. each contribute to it, it's, it's yeah. magic. And something you said earlier is it's, it's not just it's not just like your local theater kind of thing. It's like on a Broadway level mm -hmm. and professionalism and the way we're doing it and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah.